Good morning friends, it's the start of another week, it's Monday today and this is race week. I'm team is six days away from the Winter Run Series 10k in central London, which I'm very much excited for. This is going to be my taper week now, so all of the training I've done way back since Christmas is going to be tapered down to about half my usual weekly distance. So it's going to be a short, almost 10k week. Just starting a nice and easy 10k run this morning, just to loosen everything off, just to make sure everything's feeling good. If I find anything that I think is a bit tight, I'll have a little roll out on the foam roller later. But yeah, it's just an easy week. I'm going to get lots of calories in, make sure I'm doing lots of stretching and mentally prepare myself for Sunday's race. I've got my nails painted for the Winter Run series. Got icy blue on the cards, just to remind myself what I'm doing it all for. And also just to rock the nail varnish. I mean, why not? But not only are we T minus six days away from the Winter Run series 10K, which as I said previously, I'm gonna be going for about 36, hopefully sub 36 minutes. Um, other than that race, we're also 61 days away from the Brighton Marathon. It's amazing, really, how much support you guys have given me on the fundraiser. My target was to raise 475 pounds for NSPCC. And within like 48 hours, you guys have helped me to raise just over 70 percent of my goal currently on like i think 350 pounds the last time i checked which is just amazing so thank you all so much i guess that means i am officially going to be running the bryson marathon obviously with a little bit to go but i can't wait for that so as i say this week will be a taper week for the 10k races this sunday um but i also do just need to keep the legs ticking over because starting next week it's going to be some hard marathon training so today is day one of the taper but also i guess a week away from the hard 100k weeks that are going to be in place for the marathon training if you're interested in supporting me in that brighton marathon please visit the link down below it's my just giving page scot free running where i'm raising money for nspcc who do amazing work in the uk in helping child victims of abuse but also help to prevent child abuse they're an amazing cause and i'm really proud to be partnering up with them for the brighton marathon so i'm going to get on with this 10k run this morning it's going to take it nice and easy at about a five minute per kilometer pace just to keep the legs ticking over on this tapering week so there's three rules for my taper week this week it's going to be slightly different for my marathon in nine weeks time but this taper week for the 10k will involve firstly running as much as i can on soft ground i'm currently in Victoria park and i am alternating between running on this quite soft mud that lines the pathway um but here there's also some grass so i'm just alternating between the two surfaces just to really try and lower the impact on my joints on my knees and ankles just to obviously prevent any kind of injury or wear this week it's just about taking it easy so the second thing that i'm going to be making sure i'm doing this week is just really getting enough sleep i can't state how important i find sleep to my training it might seem obvious but missing out on sleep really just affects everything massively um, even within a few days of not really getting enough sleep I always feel cold like symptoms which is really weird but I also just realized that like a pace that I should usually find easier for my tempo like a 330 335 kilometer just feels agonizingly difficult so <laughs> I'm obviously gonna make sure I get enough sleep this week that's really important 
but the third thing I'm going to be doing is just really making sure that my stomach's happy with everything that I'm eating. There's nothing worse than getting to race day and just not feeling 100% in your stomach. I don't know why, but as runners, stomach issues are just the worst thing ever. I think it's something to do with the fact that our blood, when we run, is pulled away from our digestive system and things can go wrong really quickly. Believe me, I've been out on long runs where nine miles in, I felt absolutely fantastic. And then a few hundred meters later, I just get overtaken by a feeling of nausea or just really needing to use the nearest bathroom. And obviously there's one bathroom that's easier to do than other others while you're out running. But believe me, the, the second option is, is awful. So this week, I'm just going to make sure that I'm eating foods that I know agree with me. And the day before race day, I'll make sure just to keep it really bland. I know as a vegan that there's a few things that I must avoid. Obviously, not vegan things, but also lots of oil. I really don't agree with oil at all. And just not hydrating myself enough. That's another thing that absolutely causes me problems. So just to recap, the three things that I'll be doing this week in particular are running on soft ground, getting enough sleep, and just keeping a massive eye on what I'm eating just to avoid any issues. But other than that this week, I'm really just gonna try and wind down. We're off to Kew Gardens this afternoon, the last of my partner's birthday presents. So I'll be having a nice relax and walk around Kew Gardens. I'm gonna take a camera with me today and just to take some photos. It's been a while since I've been out taking photos for fun, so I'm quite looking forward to that. I'm gonna put some of those at the end of this video. And if you like what you see, leave me a comment down below. Just coming up to 6K now. Pace has increased a little bit, but everything's feeling good. It's a beautiful day here at Victoria Park, and there's lots of runners out, and lots of friendly runners as well. I've heard quite a few hellos this morning. It might be the GoPro. Don't know, but it's always lovely to say hello to fellow runners. We're coming up to 9k now, just heading back along the canal, past Broadway Market, and then I'm going to be back home. But all in all, feeling really good today. I think I might take tomorrow off as a rest day before I get some speed sessions in Wednesday or Thursday. But this will all be documented. And that is that. That's a nice 10K to start the day. That was 55 minutes at about 5.30 kilometer pace. Nice and easy on their legs this morning. I'm going to do some foam rolling now, just to make sure everything's ultra good, ultra ready for the weekend. Um, but more importantly, I'm just gonna get loads of calories in just to replace those that I burnt this morning, just to make sure that my recovery is nice and speedy. And as I say, I'm gonna post some photos from Kew Gardens following this vlog. But if you like the video guys, give it a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing. If you're London based and you haven't been to Kew Gardens before, you absolutely must go. If you go between now and the beginning of March, you might even catch the Costa Rican orchid exhibition that we were so lucky to see. It was absolutely beautiful. If you think I should include more of my photography in future videos, do let me know. But with that being said, until next time guys, peace.